shake, shake, shake. And then when you feel you've done enough shaking and growing, then find your way to lie down. Okay? Those of you who have yoga bricks and you want to bring them into T position at the back of the mat, go ahead and do that. Remember that the vertical one goes in between your shoulder blades. Then there's a gap for your neck and the horizontal one is under your head. If you don't have bricks and you want to just lie down, then go ahead, just lie down, okay? And if you just come in, I was saying, if you have a cushion nearby, keep it for towards the end of class. We'll need a cushion or a blanket or a towel, okay? But for now, lie down, get yourself comfortable. Maybe bring the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to drop out to the sides. Arms a little bit away from you, palms up towards the ceiling, okay? If it's not comfortable for your hips, if your legs are this way, then please find a comfortable position for your legs. Okay? And take a deep breath in and sigh the breath out. And again, deep breath in and sigh the breath out. One more time, nice deep breath in. And exhale with a big sigh. And then allow the breath to flow in and out, freely and softly. And watch as the breath flows in. Watch as the breath flows out. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how you're breathing. And then start to encourage the breath to be a little slower so that you're breathing in a little bit more deeply and your out breath is a little bit longer. Breathing in, allowing the torso to expand, breathing out, soften and relax. Okay. And carry on focusing on the breath while I tell you the theme of our class. If you've been in class the last two weeks, you'll know that we've been working on the chakra. Okay. So we started off with our root chakra, the energy center that is all about safety, security, our survival, feeling grounded. Okay? And then last week we worked on our sacral chakra, the second chakra, which is about our creativity. It is the, that feminine power. Okay? And everyone's got some femininity in them. Okay? And it's about sensuality, sexuality, our ability to flow with life. Today, we're moving up to the solar plexus chakra or Manipura. And this is located below the breastbone and above the tummy button. Okay, so sort of mid upper belly. Okay? And again, may I just remind you that chakras are not real. If you cut the body open, you're not going to find spinning light, spinning wheel inside your body. It's more of an analogy maybe, yeah? And it's just different parts, different areas in our body we feel different energetic qualities and different emotions. So imagine that you can feel love in your heart, right? And we all know that. You can feel a lump in your throat. So we'll get to those chakras another day. But here you feel a knot in your tummy or you can have a deep belly roar and it's all from this area here, okay? This chakra is very much about our, it's our, our center of willpower. It's our get up and go attitude. It's that, inner fire, fire of transformation. It's our self-confidence. And when this energy center is in balance, we feel confident, we're happy, we have a deep belly roar. And if we are slightly out of balance, we could you know, feel nervous, we could be knotted in the tummy, feeling angry, um, we could be power hungry, that sort of stuff, right? And we could also have low self-esteem. But anyway, all of these things aside, okay? I like to focus on this chakra because it's very much, you can feel that this is where, you, where your power is, okay? So let's, um, if you've been lying on the bricks, put the, put the feet on the mat, roll over to one side, move the bricks out from underneath you, and then lie back onto your back. And just let the spine settle, okay? And just for a moment, while we're practicing, if you can focus in that area, in the upper belly, okay, 
in your solar plexus chakra, and the color here is yellow, right? the sound here is rum, right? a bit like the rum that we drink, right? and you don't have to focus on it if you don't want to, or maybe feel it anyway, but if you want to, to keep your mind on that, so that you don't start to wonder about other things, reach your arms overhead, do a big stretch, notice if you can feel your solar plexus, well, feel the area, okay, where your solar plexus chakra might be as you stretch and then stretch one side and then the other a few times. This is very much about our digestive organs right here. Right? And when you're ready to breathe out, draw the knees up into the chest, wrap your arms across your legs, hug the thighs in nice and tightly to your belly and rocking it out gently side to side. And then start to do your hip circles. Any version of the hip circles is fine. And then go the opposite direction. And when you're ready, inhale the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling and rotate your wrists and ankles a few times. And then in the opposite direction. Fabulous. And then keep the feet off the mat, but bend the knees. Right? Bend the knees, feet off the mat. Hug your inner thighs towards each other. Take your arms out to the sides. Okay? And take a nice deep breath in. Squeeze your legs together as you breathe out. Draw the knees towards the chest and then drop them over to the right. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs and hug the knees up to the chest. Then roll over to the left. Right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees towards chest and then twist to the right again. Squeezing the inner thighs. Inhale back to center. Exhale, squeeze, hug in and drop them to the left. One more time each side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hug the knees towards the chest and drop them over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, squeeze and drop them over to the left. Then come back to center, lower your feet down to the mat. Okay? And we're going to do just a little bit more core work. So from here, let's bring our feet off the mat again. Okay? We're going to cross your right thigh on top of the left okay? and allow the feet to just go away from each other. So your right foot will stick out to the left and your left foot's going to stick out to the right. right? Take, take your hands underneath your head. Hands underneath your head. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. And we're going to anchor the left elbow to the floor and twist the knees over to the right without dropping your shoulders down. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, anchor your right elbow down and drop the knees slightly over to the left. Keep your head and shoulders off the floor. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower your head and shoulders down. Reach your legs up. Give them a little shake. And then you're going to cross your left thigh on top of the right. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Okay? So lift your head and shoulders off the floor. And then anchor your right elbow back down onto the floor to, keep, to help you keep your balance. Okay? Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, drop the knees over to the left. Just enough so that you don't collapse. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, anchor your left elbow down. Twist your knees over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, lower your head and shoulders down. Extend the legs up. Give them a little shake. Lower your legs down. Do a big full body stretch. Reach your arms and your legs away from each other. Point the toes forward. And then let's bend both knees, have our feet on the mat. Okay. A little bit more core work, and we'll keep this one a little gentler. What I want you to do is take your right leg up towards the ceiling. Okay. Now, take a breath in and swap legs. So you're lowering your right foot down, extending the left leg up. Okay. And then again, swap as you breathe in. Right leg goes up, left foot comes down, left knee bent. And then inhale, swap legs. Fabulous. Now inhale, swap back to the right leg. Okay. 
The legs are going to do that every time we breathe in, right? Take your hands underneath your head. Take a deep breath in, don't swap legs just yet. As you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the floor, twist to the right. Inhale, come back to center, swap legs. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, swap legs. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, swap your legs again, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. And then lower down for a moment. I'm gonna give you another option, which will be a little harder. If you want to stick with this first option, you're going to keep the left knee bent, extend the right leg up. If you want a harder version, extend the left leg out in front of you so that your left leg is straight, okay? And the right leg is up to the ceiling, okay? And then take your hands underneath your head and we're doing exactly the same thing. So either the left leg is straight or the left knee is bent, right leg is up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and when you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the floor, twist to the right. Inhale, swap legs, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, swap legs. Exhale, twist to the right. So you're twisting to your bent, to your top leg. Inhale, back to center, swap legs. Exhale, twist to the straight leg up above. Then inhale, back to center one more time each side. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, swap legs. Exhale, twist to the left. And then lower down. Do a big stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other again. So, now if you have a blanket or a cushion or a yoga brick, grab one and place it underneath your sacrum. So keep it low, okay? And the sacrum is the back of the pelvis on that bony bit. So it's not in your lower back, okay? It's just up from the crack of your bum. I don't know any other way of explaining it, okay? And then from here, we're going to take our arms overhead, and really focus on that Manipura chakra, your solar plexus chakra. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we need to lift the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly in and up, and then hold the breath. Reach your arms up a little bit more. Feel the upper belly sinking down a bit. Okay? And then inhale here. And exhale, release the arms down. Now we're going to do it without the support. We're going to do it in bridge pose, okay? So lower your bum down. Move the brick or the cushion out of the way. And have your ankles underneath your knees. Have your feet roughly hip width apart. Knees roughly hip width apart. Okay? Arms alongside you. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, push into your heels. Lift your bum, lift your spine up off the mat. Keep your spine there. Inhale, take your arms overhead. Exhale, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. Hold the breath. And reach the arms overhead a little bit more. And then inhale here. Exhale and slowly come down. Okay? So I hope you feel that area. We're going to do it just one more time. Okay? When you're ready, as you breathe out, push into your feet, lift your spine up off the mat. Breathing in, reach your arms all the way overhead. Breathing out, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. Hold the breath and this time gently tuck your chin down and rock the hips gently side to side. And then inhale. Exhale, slowly come all the way down. Bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big cuddle. And then start to roll up and down the spine a few times like you're trying to come up to sit, but don't immediately sit. Just roll up and down a few times. And then come all the way up, all the way up. Are we okay? Did we feel our... Um, Upper belly engaging a little bit when we're holding the breath. Yeah, I hope so. Cool. Right. So let's come on to our hands and knees. Okay. Do you want to have your shoulders, elbows, and wrists in a straight line? And the creases of your wrists are aligned with the front of your mat. Knees are underneath the hips. Okay. 
push your shin bones into the mat. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, push the earth away around the spine. Inhale, heart forward, look up. Exhale, into round. And again, inhale, heart forward, look up. Exhale and round the spine and have a little wriggle. So move your spine in as many ways as you can. Wriggle, wiggle, jiggle. Let your head move, let your shoulders move. Wonderful. And then sit back onto your heels. Or if you cannot sit back onto your heels, just sit tall. Okay? And rotate your wrists out a few times, warming up the wrists a little. And the other way. And then let's roll the shoulders back and down a few times. And the other way. Fabulous. Come back onto your hands and knees. Okay. So if you want to watch me a second, please do. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale, lift one arm up. Exhale, slide it behind the other hand. And we're going to bring the side of our head down. And we're going to push and spin the chest up. Right? So let's do that. On your hands and knees. As you breathe in, lift your right arm up. And notice how your bum wants to swing out. Hug your bum back to center, okay? And then when you are ready to breathe out, you're going to take that right arm behind the left, reach it all the way out until you can get your shoulder down and then the side of your head down. And then you're going to press into your left finger pads, roll your left shoulder onto your back so that you can spin the chest up a little bit more. And then feel free to stay here or if you want a little bit more, start to walk your left leg straight back behind you. You can keep the foot on the floor if you like, okay? So the left leg is going to go straight back if you want to, okay? And then if you want to go a little further, you can lift that left leg up. Okay? And have a little giggle if you fall over, okay? If you want to go further, bend that left knee, okay? And really hug everything into the midline. And then see if you can take your left hand to find your left foot. And if you end up falling over, don't freak out, just have a giggle. Okay? Press that foot up into your hand. And then if you haven't fallen over yet, lower the knee back down. You're going to push down into your left hand, lift back up and inhale, reach your right arm up again. And exhale, bring the right hand down and we'll do the other side. Okay. So inhale, take your left arm up, keep the hip square, try not to swing it out, yeah? And then when you're ready to breathe out, bring the left arm behind the right and bring the shoulder down to the floor, okay? From here, push down into your right finger pads to roll your chest up a little bit towards the ceiling and have a sense of hugging the thighs towards each other. Extend your right leg straight back, okay? And then maybe you want to lift that foot up off the floor okay? and really hug the belly in, maybe bend that right knee. And maybe if you're still there, you can reach your right hand to find the foot. Way have I fallen over? If you haven't fallen over, hold the foot, press the foot back into your hand. <laughs> and then release the foot when you're ready, lower the knee down. And as you come up, you bring, come back onto your hands and inhale the left arm up, exhale, release it down, okay? And now we're going to work on the core a little bit more still. So from here, have your thighs touching each other, push the shin, either push your feet down or push the shin bone down, okay? As you breathe in, lift your right knee off the floor and press the heel up. As you breathe out, draw your right knee to your nose, push the earth away. Inhale, reach your right heel back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring that right knee to the right upper arm. Inhale, press that heel back up to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the right knee to the left upper arm. And then lower that right foot down. Let's do the left side. Guys, be careful that when you're lifting your left leg, you're not swinging your body out to the right. You're staying centered, yeah? So inhale, lift your left knee up, press the heel up. Exhale, push into the earth and bring the left knee to your nose. Inhale, send that left heel up again. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left upper arm. Inhale, send it back up behind you. 
Exhale, knee to the right upper arm. And then lower that down. Keep the toes tucked under. Sit back onto your heels and rotate your wrists out. Obviously, sit back onto your heels if your body allows you to. If not, just sit up a little higher. Okay? Go the other way. And then roll your shoulders back and down. Wonderful. And we're going to go up into downward dog. So take your hands back to the mat. Walk your hands a tiny bit in front of your shoulders. And keep the toes tucked under. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bottom back towards your heels. And then push into your hands, into your legs. Lift your knees up. Send your bum way back and up. Relax your neck. Okay. And start to walk your dog out, bending one knee and then the other a few times. Fabulous. And then bend the knees a little, look forward between your hands, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, step, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Coming into a soft knee, standing forward bend. Relax the neck. Nod your head yes a few times. Stay low, stay down in the forward bend. Okay. Shake your head, no. Did I say nod your head, no? I don't know what I'm saying. And then when you're ready, use your next out breath. Push into the earth and come all the way up. All the way up. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, release. Give the body a little shake. Um, some of you kind of disappeared into darkness. Do you have lights in your house? Um, Rosie, I can barely see you. Jenny, you're going dark as well. And yeah, Andy, you asked if you were going to, it's a little bit dark. And also John, sorry guys, I need to see you. And Sandra, if you have more lights, that'd be great. Okay, right. That's just almost everyone. <laughs> this, are we okay? We're ready to go? Ready to rock it out? We're not going to rock it, we're just going to work it, okay? So standing nice and tall, gentle, slow sun salute, which you've done with me a few times now, okay? When you're ready... Feet can be hip width or together. Just check that your feet are forward, your knees are forward, and ground down through all three points of the feet. So the big toe mound, little toe mound, and the center of your heel. Okay. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees a little, keep the spine long, and come down into a standing forward bend. Okay. Have your hands framing you. Actually, let's just step back. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, take your hands down, step back into downward dog. Okay. And then from down dog, bend the knees a little bit as you breathe in. As you breathe out, push the legs straight and let the spine round as you come forward into plank. Get your shoulders above the wrist, press out through the heels and hug the ribs and the hips towards each other as you breathe in. As you breathe out, lower your knees down and find your way all the way down onto your tummy. Okay? Press the top of the feet down, press the pubic bone down. Inhale, come up into cobra, collarbones wide. Okay? And then as you exhale, come up onto your knees. Okay? Inhale, lift your right heel up. Exhale, step the right foot to the inside of your right hand. Okay. And then from here, have the inner thighs towards each other. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Draw the hands by the hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale again, hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and hug in. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hug in. Then we're going to inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, spin our chest to the right. Take the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Take the right hand and bind it behind your back. Okay? Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hug the inner thighs towards each other and turn your chest maybe a little bit more to the right. Okay. Think about getting your right shoulder blade moving in towards the spine and breathe. And then when you're ready, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Inhale, lift your left knee off the floor. 
exhale, step back into downward dog. Okay. As you breathe in, bend the knees a little bit. As you breathe out, push your thighs back and wave forward, coming into plank pose again. Keep your shoulders above the wrists, hug the ribs and the hips towards each other. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lower the knees down and then find your way down onto your tummy. Okay. Hands by your rib cage. Inhale, lift up into cobra. Think about drawing your chest forward, collarbones wide. Notice your Manipura chakra. Notice your upper belly here. Okay. And then as you breathe out, come up onto your hands and knees. Okay. And we're going to inhale, lift the left heel up behind us. Left knee up. Exhale, bring the left foot forward. As you breathe in, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Look forward. As you breathe out, push into the feet and come all the way up. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, draw your fists by your hips. Inhale and lift up. Same thing, but hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Inhale and reach up. Exhale and hug in. One more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hug in. Then inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, spin your chest to the left. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Left arm binds behind your back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Squeeze your legs together. Exhale, spin your chest maybe a little deeper. And remember to get your left shoulder blade onto your back. Have your inner thighs hugging in and breathe. And then inhale, come back to centre with the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. As you breathe in, lift your right knee off the floor. As you breathe out, step back into downward dog. Okay? And then bend the knees a little bit. Look forward between your hands. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, you can walk, you can jump, you can step to the front of the mat into a standing forward bend. Hands come onto your thighs. Inhale, come up halfway. So your spine is parallel with the mat. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. Exhale, release the arms down. I think you might have guessed there's going to be a lot of twists in this class. Okay? So I'm not going to... Yeah, we're going to do one more round of Sun Salute to get the heat, to get the fire going. Okay? And then we're going to do the poses separately. So standing tall at the front of the mat again. I thought I'd turn everything off. It's something still pinging. But anyway, pushing down. I'll tell you what, let's do chair pose. Have our legs together. Okay. Now, for some people, legs together is not comfortable. If that is the case with you, you can keep your feet apart. But remember, when you go into chair, if your feet are away from each other, don't let the knees knock in. Keep the knees going in the same direction as your toes. Okay. Otherwise, you can have your feet together like me. Hands onto your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, stick your bottom back behind you and then sink your bum down. Hands onto your thighs. As you breathe in, push into your thighs and lift your chest up. Okay? And then I'm going to turn this way. Dig the heels down. Maybe float the arms up. Beautiful. Let's have a quick twist, a gentle twist. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee and bind the right arm behind your back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn the chest to the right. So you don't want to twist the hips. Think about keeping the hips at the center. Turn just from the chest and then sink your bum a little bit more. Wonderful. Inhale, back to center, arms go up. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep the hips squared to the front. Twist just the upper body. Get your left arm, left shoulder blade, hugging the spine, sink your bum down. And then inhale, come all the way up to stand, arms go up. Exhale, fold forward with slightly bent knees. Hands onto your thighs, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step back into downward dog again. As you breathe in, bend the knees a little bit. As you breathe out, push your thighs back. Let the spine round as you come forward into plank. Press out through the heels, push down through your hands, take a breath. As you breathe out, lower the knees. 
and then the belly all the way down to the floor. Inhale, push into your hands, lift the chest, draw the collarbones open. Okay? As you exhale, come back up onto your knees. And we're going to inhale, lift the right heel up again, right knee off the floor. Exhale, bring the right foot forward and move the right foot a little bit to the right. Okay? We're going to lift the left knee off the mat, the back knee off the mat, but bend the left knee a little bit. Squeeze your legs together and use your out breath to press into the feet and come all the way up into the high lunge. Okay? Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, bend both knees and draw the fists by your hips. So you're on the balls of the back foot, people. Okay? Inhale, straighten both legs. So don't put the back heel down. I want your hips forward. Exhale, bend both knees. Okay? Inhale, stretch both legs, arms up. Exhale, bend both knees again. Now keep the front knee bent, extend the back leg. Inhale, the arms go up. Okay. Can you keep your hips forward? If you find that your hips are going out, see what your back toes are doing. You want all 10 toes forward. Okay. And on your next out breath, squeeze your legs together, twist to the right. Arms at shoulder height. Inhale, turn back to center, arms up. Exhale, squeeze your legs together, twist to the right, keep your arms at shoulder height, reach your left arm forward, right arm back, inhale back to center again, last time, exhale, twist to the right, reach your arms away from each other, take a deep breath in, and exhale, bring your hands all the way down to the floor, okay? and we're going to take a deep breath, and as we breathe out, step back into downward dog, have a little gentle dog walk, And when you're ready, we're going to inhale, bend both knees a little bit. Exhale, push your thighs back and wave forward, coming into plank. Take a breath in in plank. And then exhale, knees down, belly down, chest down. Inhale, push into your hands, into your feet, lift the chest up, cobra pose. And as you exhale, come back up onto your knees. Inhale, lift your left knee up, press the heel up towards the ceiling. Exhale, step your left foot forward and wriggle it out a little bit. So give yourself some space, right? As you breathe in, lift your right knee off the floor. So you're still on, so look back. Make sure that your back toes, okay, all of your toes on your right foot are pointing forward and the heel is lifted. And then bend that right knee a little bit, squeeze your legs together and use your out breath to come up, okay? And if you find that you're wobbling, then you need to take your left foot a little bit more to the left and that will widen your stance. Straighten the legs, inhale, the arms go up. Exhale, bend both knees and hug the feet towards each other. Inhale, extend both legs, arms go up. Exhale, bend both knees again. Inhale and reach up, exhale and bend, and then keep the front knee bent, extend the right leg, inhale the arms go up, as you exhale twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm back, inhale come back to centre, arms up, exhale twist to the left again, inhale back to centre, exhale twist to the left. And then inhale, center. Exhale, bring your hands down. Take a breath in. And exhale, step back into downward dog. Walk your dog out. Okay. And then bend the knees a little. Look forward between your hands. Take a breath. And as you breathe out, step or walk or jump to the front of the mat into a standing forward bend. Hands onto your thighs. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Inhale, bring the arms up to me. Exhale, release the arms down. Ah. Oh. Alexa keeps talking to me in class. I keep forgetting to turn her off. Right. Are we okay? We're going to work into a fairly strong twist. Okay. So I would like you to have something nearby to place your hand on, but if you haven't got anything, then that's okay. okay. But let's start 
going into triangle pose first. So stand with your feet nice and wide. Okay? And have your feet parallel so that the outside edges of your feet are aligned with the short ends of your mat. Okay? So your toes are not out and they're not in, they're going straight forward. Keep your left foot like that. Spin your right toes out to face the short end of your mat. Okay? And then make sure now that both knees are a little bit soft. Keep your left hand onto your left hip. As you breathe in, bring your right hand, arm up at shoulder height. As you breathe out, reach forward with that right arm and bring it somewhere below the knee. Okay? Then inhale into the back ribs. Exhale, draw the belly in and start to spin your chest up towards the ceiling. Get both shoulder blades hugging the spine. Relax the neck. And then if you want to straighten your right leg, straighten it and take your left arm up. Okay? Hug the feet in towards each other. And think about lengthening both sides of your spine, especially the right side. Think about lifting the right ribs away from your right hip. So you're not rounded but you're lengthening out, okay? And then we're going to do a little something here. So as you breathe in, can you spin the chest up a little bit more? As you breathe out, turn your chest down, bring the left arm down. Inhale, start to spin the chest up, take the left arm back up. Exhale, spin the chest down. One more. Inhale, spin it up. Exhale, bring it down. And then as you breathe in, bend that front knee and come all the way up into warrior two. Fabulous. Straighten your right leg, release your arms down and spin your right foot back so that the right foot is now parallel with the left foot. Okay? Now, turn your left foot out to the short end of your mat and check that you're kind of not just tilting everything. Hug in, lengthen the spine, get your shoulders in line with the hips, okay? Feet are active, knees are soft, right hand onto your right hip. As you breathe in, reach your left arm forward. As you breathe out, reach a little bit more and bring the left hand somewhere below the left knee. Inhale into the back ribs. And as you exhale, draw the belly in, spin the chest up. Both shoulder blades are hugging the spine, okay? Relax the neck and then work your left leg towards straight. And you can take your right arm up. Okay? Again, check that you're not rounding and crushing that left side. Lift that rib, left ribs out away from your left hip so you create length on that left side. Okay? And then inhale, spin the chest up a little bit more. Hug the feet in. Exhale, spin the chest down. Bring that right arm down. Inhale, hug the feet towards each other. Spin the chest up, right arm up. Exhale, spin the chest down again. Inhale, spin it up. Exhale, bring it down. And as you breathe in, bend that left knee, push into the feet, come all the way up into warrior two. And then straighten that left leg, release the hands down. Okay? Turn your left foot in, and you can heel toe, heel toe, and you can jump and land with your feet together. Okay? And now comes the big pose. So I'm going to grab a brick because it's nicer for my body to have a brick. Okay? But I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Okay? I'm going to place the brick right next to my right foot. So the brick is on the inside of my right foot. Okay? And I'm going to step my left foot back and I'm staying on the balls of the left foot. Right? So don't put the heel down. Keep all ten toes going forward and the heel is lifted and the right knee is now bent, okay? So let's all do it together, you know, yeah? So right leg forward, if you're using the brick, it's on the inside of your right foot, left leg goes back, and you're on the ball of the left foot, not on the heel. Keep the heel lifted, okay? Squeeze your legs together, take a breath in. As you breathe out, fold forward with a long spine. Place your left hand onto the brick, Place your right hand onto your sacrum, so on that bony bit at the back of the pelvis, okay? And then keep the, notice that right now, your pelvis should be quite level, okay? And then when we twist, don't drop your left hip, keep that level, so take a breath in. As you exhale, spin from the chest to the right. 
So you're just twisting your chest to your right. Okay? And then if you are okay here and you feel you want to straighten your right leg, then you can straighten your right leg. Okay? Hug the inner thighs towards each other. And if you've got your balance, you can take your right arm up and you can spin your head to look up at your right hand. If you haven't got your balance, keep your right hand on your back. Okay? Remember to keep the spine long. Right? And Sue, get your palm facing the wall. So don't twist your arm, the top arm. Don't twist it, just keep it going up normally. And then everybody exhale, bring the right hand down, bend the right knee, step your left foot forward. And then use your next out breath, come all the way up. We're going to do the other side, but I just want to show Sue something. I don't know, Sue, if you can see me from your camera. When you lift it up, you kind of did your arm something like that. So when you're lifting your arm up, just have your palm turning up and just a straight up. Yeah, don't twist it. Let's do the other side, okay? So now the brick can go to the ins. If you're working with brick, if you're not working with brick, it's just your hand on the floor, right? But if you're working with brick, the brick is on the inside of your left foot, okay? and soften your knees, step your right foot back. Okay? Remember, we're keeping the heel lifted and all 10 toes are forward so that our hips are forward. Okay? Left knee is bent, hands onto your hips to begin with. Okay? If you're struggling with balance, take your feet wider apart. Yeah. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, come forward with a long spine. Then place your right hand down to the inside of your left foot. Left hand goes onto your sacrum. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly spin just the chest and the head over to the left. Don't move from your hips. Okay? And then if you want to work your left leg straight, you're welcome to. And then if you want to take your left arm up, take it straight up. And you can look up at your left hand if you wish and breathe. And this, even though you've got both feet on the floor, it's still a pretty hard balancing pose, right? And it takes focus, it takes self-confidence, and it takes willpower. So are you ready to go and feel that burn for a bit longer? Beautiful. Exhale, release that left hand down, bend the left knee, and step forward to the front of the mat, and just bend one knee and then the other a few times, And we're going to step back into downward dog. So from where you are, place your hands down and step back to downward dog. And then lower your knees down to the floor. And we're going to, I forgot what we're doing, so hang out there, lower your knees down and swing your legs out and come down to sit for a moment. That's all we're doing, come down to sit. <laughs> I've forgotten. Right, so I'm going to do a few fun things. Okay. So keep your left leg straight. Right. Let's start by bringing the right outer ankle onto our left thigh. Okay. So And allow that right knee to drop down, flex the right foot. And you can take your hands behind you and slide your left foot in so that your left foot comes to the floor. Only go as far as is okay for your body. If you're already feeling it with the leg straight, then keep it straight. But if you are okay to bend that left knee, place the foot down and do that. Okay. And if you want a little bit more, you can walk your bottom closer to your heel. But remember, if you do that, you don't want to um, slouch. You want to keep the spine upright, hands close to your bum, lengthen and breathe. And rock it out side to side. Fabulous. I'm going to turn this way now. And then if you've moved your bum forward, then slide your bum back and extend your left leg again. Put your right foot to the outside of your left knee. Okay? And if some of you will be able to bend that left knee and place the left foot towards your right button. If you do that, make sure both of your sit bones are grounded on the mat and you're not all lopsided. Right? If you're lopsided, keep that left leg straight. So you're sitting tall. Okay? Wrap your left arm across your right knee. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, spin your chest to the right, lower the right arm down. Deep breath in, lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, maybe you can spin a little bit more. 
Take another two deep breaths in and out here. And then take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to turn all the way to the left. As I'm turning sideways, you can see me. Okay? And once you've turned to the left, you're going to walk your hands forward away from you and bring your elbows down if that's possible and relax your neck and breathe. So your right buttock is going to lift off the floor here a little bit so that you can fold. Okay? Wonderful. And then come back up onto your hands. Okay? And now you stay, keep your legs as they are. So those of you with the left knee bent though, extend the left leg out so that the left leg goes straight to the front of the mat. So your right foot is on the outside of the left leg, yes? At the moment, everybody's right foot is on the outside of the left thigh, correct? Thumbs up so I know. Perfect. So your left hip, okay, you want to lean forward and place your left elbow down about a foot or so in front of your left hip. Okay? And then from here, reach your right arm in front of your right leg and see if you can get hold of your left foot. If you cannot get hold of the foot, just hold the leg somewhere. Okay? So right arm to your left leg and press your left leg and your right foot against each other. Lean forward into your left hand a little bit and push down into everything and lift your bum, lift your left foot off the floor. Yeah, a little bit of fun. Now, guys, have a good look. Stacy. if you are kind of back here, it's impossible to lift. You see how I, my leg's going straight down there. I've got my body almost in an L shape with my leg. Okay, so I'm like, my elbows are directly out to the side of my left and then I lift up, yeah? So have another little go if you wish. Okay, so you've got to really tip forward so you're on the outside of your left hip and then you can lift up, maybe. And then come back down and we'll do the other side. Come back up, I mean, not down. <laughs> Shake your shoulders out a little bit. Just a little bit of fun, okay? It's called a baby grasshopper, that pose. And I teach that a lot because I don't know how to do the full grasshopper. I did once, but not anymore. So let's place the left outer ankle on our right thigh. Flex the foot, hands down behind us. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, maybe slide your right foot in and put your right foot on the mat knee bent. If that's not enough, walk your bottom closer to your heel, but keep the spine upright, left foot flex and gently rock it out. Wonderful. And then if you've come forward, slide back, extend that right leg, put the left foot to the outside of the right knee. Okay? And then if you're bending the bottom knee, then go ahead and bend it. If you're not bending, then just keep the leg straight. Wrap your right arm across your left knee. As you breathe in, lengthen the spine, reach your left arm up. As you breathe out, spin your chest to the left and take the hand down. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhaling, twist. Two more deep breaths in and out. And then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to turn this time all the way over to the right. Okay? And walk your hands away so that you can bring the elbows down and your left buttock is going to lift off the floor. Okay? And just for a moment, breathe. And then slowly come back up onto your hands. So I'm going to extend. If you've got your right leg straight, extend. Sorry, if you've got your right knee bent, Extend the leg out, okay, and lift your torso up, okay, and look at where your right hip is, okay, that's in about a foot in front of it, you're going to place your right elbow down, right forearm down, so your torso is making, like, a, it's perpendicular to your right leg, okay, and then flex the right foot, reach your left hand across to either hold the foot or hold the ankle, or whatever you can hold of your right leg, okay? And then you've got to really push down into your arm, lean forward, push down into your left foot, push out with your right foot, and then you'll get your bum up and your leg up. And you've got to really lean into it, okay? And then lower down when you've done it, let it go. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. You know, yoga's a lifetime practice. 
but you've got to find that willpower to keep practicing to get somewhere with it if, if you want to get there. If you don't, you don't. It doesn't matter, right? So let's stretch all that out a little bit, okay? So let's come and lie down onto our back. We're going to revisit the bridge pose to lengthen out the front. Okay? As we've turned the Manipura Chakra now, we're going to just soften and relax it a little bit. So have your ankles underneath your knees, feet and knees hip width apart. Okay? And then you can have your arms in robot arm position. So the upper arms hugging the ribs and the forearms and fingers point to the ceiling. As you breathe in, push down into the upper arms, get the shoulder blades hugging the spine. As you breathe out, push into your heels and peel your spine up off the mat. And then take your hands underneath your back, interlace the fingers and wriggle your elbows as close together as they are able to go. Okay? Push down into the heels, lift your bum a little bit more and breathe here, focusing on your Manipura Chakra. And then let's just breathe out completely, lift the pelvic floor, draw the belly in, hold the breath, chin towards chest, and rock the hips a little bit. And then release the hands, take a breath in, and exhale, slowly come all the way down. Okay. Lift both feet off the mat, and you're going to cross your right thigh on top of the left again, so the feet go out in opposite direction. Okay. As you breathe out, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. If you can hold your ankles, and go ahead and hold your ankles. If you cannot hold your ankles, hold your front knee and draw the legs closer to your chest and then relax your head down and gently rock the hips side to side. And then inhale, uncross the legs, open them wide for a moment. Okay. And as you exhale, recross the legs with the left thigh on top. And as you take a breath in and as you breathe out, bring your head and shoulders off the floor. Reach for the ankles or for the knees. So stay here, nice tight cross. So your thighs are actually resting on each other. And then draw the legs in towards the chest. So make sure your left thigh is touching your right thigh. And relax your head back and rock it out gently side to side. Wonderful. And then extend both legs up towards the ceiling now and cross. Okay. And as you breathe out, roll all the way up to sit. And if you want to put some warm layers on, put some warm layers on. Okay. And we're going to have a funny little relaxation. So if you want to put jumpers on, have something nearby, grab your cushion or your blanket or rolled up towel okay? and it's going to be a very soft roll, so not a massive one, okay, so if you have a really big blanket, unwind it a little bit, you don't want it too big, right, and what we're going to do, so I don't know if you can see my rolled up jumper, you can make it smaller than that, it doesn't have to be as big as that, right, and what we're going to do is we're going to come and lie on our front, having that little blanket or cushion or whatever underneath our upper belly. So Charlotte, if you're using a whole pillow, fold the edge in. No, 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 pillow's good. But rather than the entire pillow flat out, fold it a little bit. Your blanket is good, yeah. So if I'm using a pillow, I would fold it. And I would only use a portion of it because otherwise it's too thick. Okay? And lie with your upper belly resting on your whatever it is that you're using. Okay? And if you find it particularly painful, stay up a little higher. If you find it comfortable, I want you to bring one cheek down onto your hands and relax the neck and gently rock your body side to side. So it's like you're giving your tummy a massage. Focus your attention on that area, okay? and maybe as you breathe in, imagine there's a flame in the sun, in that Manipura chakra, and each time you breathe in, the flame gets brighter, and the warmth from your inner fire spreads all the way through your body. Okay? So just be with that for a moment.
Wonderful. And then without disturbing yourself too much, I want you to just roll, slide your whatever prop it is that you have under your belly. Slide that out of the way and roll onto your back into a comfortable relaxation pose. So make sure you find yourself as comfortable as possible. Take a moment to adjust. If you want to bend the knees, bend the knees. If you want to have the legs straight, have the legs straight. And then settle onto the mat. Close your eyes if it's comfortable. Take a deep breath in. And exhale with a big sigh. And let's do that again. Just one more time. Nice deep breath in. And exhale with a big sigh and let everything go. And let your whole body be soft and relaxed. And relax. Relax. Relax.